Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, so since having Little Bear, I've spent some time looking into dog training and research and techniques and, and all this and that. And um, essentially from what I've found is that it's, um, it, to me, when I look at the type of trainers that are really able to um, properly handle, especially aggressive and violent and strong, powerful, dominant dogs, because that's, that's the biggest issue. And, and I know a lot of those type of dogs get put down to sleep because they're a threat to society. Um, but it, it's also for any type of dog. Um, to me, it comes down to your energy, your attitude, and your tone, and the way you carry yourself as a human being. That seems to be one of the most important, if not the most important, um, common denominators I can gather from watching all these different dog trainers is their energy. They all seem to possess a very alpha male, alpha pack, leader of the pack type energy, and they hold themselves very secure, very strong. Their words, their voice is very direct, sincere. They use their eyes, they use their body language. So it's that it's all about building up that character. So this is one of the things that I don't hear a lot of dog trainers talk about, which I, I wish they would because it would solve all the problems. And it would also <clears throat> make people, it would give them the answers because people would be selling a lot of shit like that's the answer. And it's, it, all these toys and techniques and classes and all this shit really doesn't work nearly as well if you just get your shit together and take care of yourself and be an example for your animal or your pet or loved one or creature and you'd be surprised how they follow you um it's also about building a relationship with them so um <clears throat> you know i want to incorporate uh, a dog sanctuary and a cat sanctuary and any other type of wildlife sanctuary into the movements and i think that this will help us it not only will it help the dogs and the cats because we're losing about 1.5 um, dogs and cats get euthanized every year in the United States, <clears throat> and one in two dogs will get cancer every year, and, and it's in my opinion that goes largely back, if not completely back, to processed foods. So not only can we give them a home, a, a good home with plenty of land to run around and friends to, to play with and this and that, but we can also give them, um, we, can, we should be able to feed them completely organic raw food, and this too will help their well-being and hopefully help counter the sad fact that like i said one in two dogs slash cats will get cancer and we will also uh counter the also very sad and tragic facts that on average like i said 1.5 million shelter animals are euthanized every year that's 670,000 dogs and 860,000 cats that number i mean the cat thing really bothers me because it's not that hard to take care of cats <clears throat> uh.